please, Charles, hurry up. I need. I mean, you're, you're taking your time. I mean, it's a bit annoying. I, I want Armageddon to come back, and this guy's this wasting my time. Does. Not repenting. He's <laughs> giving us time to repent. He waits. Yeah, your man. God is waiting. Yes. I don't know how it's annoying. An almighty, point again? an almighty universal God is waiting for me. Waiting for you to repent. Yeah. yeah. He's waiting for you to repent, my boy. That's why he hasn't Charles, come yet. Charles is down, in, down on earth. I'm going to wait for him. Yeah, he's waiting for all of you heathen to come and repent and receive the Lord. Ah, oh, there's one. He's repented. Next one. What? Come on, come on. Yeah, I mean, you imagine if things oh, a bit weird. Oh, God, is this? You do realise that I believe that Jesus could come back tomorrow or even later on today. Yeah, but the record shows there's a pattern. He's not very good at coming back. According to who's your epistemic authority? Uh, mine. So you make up your own epistemic authority. Well done. See, I mean, why are we even talking? According to my mind, Jesus no real. He died. <laughs> According to my mind, Jesus no real. He said to him, I can't account for my mind. You lot repent, I'm coming back soon. According to whose epistemic authority? Soon. According to whose epistemic authority? I'm going to come back in the next generation. Can't answer. I don't know. Of course you don't know. How do I know? You don't know. Your universal power god What's he doing? Universal power, God. Well, you know, Sky Daddy. Call Sky him Daddy. Here we go. Sky Daddy. What's your Sky what Daddy? What is your Jesus doing now? Whatever hell he wants to. Right. Playing chess. Whatever he wants to. Uh, cards. Whatever he wants to. Snap. Checkers. What's he doing? I mean, notice the atheist argumentation right now. It's just long tier, just PS I, I, I told you already, Habibi. I don't, I don't debate religion. It's, it's I, don't, I don't debate religion, Habibi. Can you show me your consciousness, please? I want to talk about atheism. Consciousness? Yeah, show me your consciousness. How do I know empirically that you exist? Hold on. I don't believe you exist. I'm about to In fact, show I want you to convince me you exist. No, I want you to convince me you exist. Can you convince me? Did you get anywhere with that guy? No, of course I didn't. Come on, it's a Muslim. <laughs> But anyway, right, yeah, yeah. can you show can you show me empirically how you exist? Yeah. Did you no, get I'm it? sorry, I think you're a hologram. Did you get it? I believe you're a hologram. Didn't you not get it? Charles, I believe you're a hologram. Open your mind. You're a hologram. You do not exist. You're basically being beamed from a ninth dimension. I'm sorry, man. You don't exist. But your Jesus does exist, yeah? You don't exist. But your Jesus does. You're not getting it, are you? No, you're not Have getting you it. proven to me you've existed yet? Because I, I can't tell if you exist. Is How it, do I know you're not a figment I'm of my this, imagination? I'm in the Am same I going place, mad right I'm now? in the same place <laughs> as your Jesus. Are you? Yeah. Well, where are you? Paradigm. Dimension. Paradigm? The, the 12th. Paradigm dimension. The 12th dimension. <laughs> the 12th you know what dimension. paradigm is, dude. Yeah. I'm in the same paradigm as your Jesus. Um, no. No? No. Because if you're in the same Ruby. paradigm as Jesus, yeah. then you believe Jesus was God. No, I don't believe that. Then you're not in the same paradigm as Jesus. Do you know so, what paradigm is? Like a different... Uh, no, I don't. You uh, explain. Uh, I explain. You know, go read a book. Right? Go read a book. What, right? the, the book that you read. What? The Bible? The Holy One. You should read the Bible, yes. No. You should read well, the Bible. What do you believe in? Oh, when I read it, it's by I believe read about some book <laughs> called Moses. Party the sea. Yeah. Well, it wasn't Moses. It was actually the Lord. But the Lord oh, used it wasn't Moses. Moses. The Lord uses Moses. Huh? The Lord used Moses as the a vessel. The Lord used Moses. Yes. Because he could do that. Is there any evidence for this party? What do you consider evidence? Uh, what do you have? No, so, no, I'm asking you. What do you consider evidence? What evidence do you have? So what is evidence? What do you consider what evidence is? Um, so when we speak of evidence, what is something you can see. Right? How do you, how do you no, know you can only, trust? Not only that. Charles, how do you know do you can you trust? Do you have evidence that the see party? How, Charles, so do, do you, can you trust what you see? Can I trust what you see? Can you trust what you What's, see? That's irre irrelevant. No, no, to it's the relevant to the question. It's very relevant to the question. Do you have can evidence? You that how do you know you can trust what you're seeing? Three thousand years ago. How do you know you can trust what you're yes seeing? Yes or no? Right? How do you know you can trust what you're saying? Now answer the question. He answered the question. Then you will answer your question. The answer is question. Is there evidence? Well, I'm answering this question by posing another question to it. I'm posing another question. The, the reason why is because I want to gauge his response so then I can answer appropriately. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's not. There's nothing wrong in argumentating in conversations to ask another question, qualifying question to us to determine which position is in. So, like, so hold, hold on one minute. Right? So, like, how how do you know that this reality is reality? How do you know that? How can we know that? 
How can we possibly know? I'm stumped. I ask you a question, you deflect to something so silly, me, it, it irrelevant. Me, it's a waste of time. But at, at the end of the day, right, if you can't determine what your epistemic authority is, I can't answer your question because I'm not going to be able to do it appropriately unless I know what your epistemic authority is. Once again, so what do you consider? I no, no, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. So what do you consider that evidence? That what do you consider party? evidence? That's what do I'm asking. you have evidence for this? I'm asking you, what does Charles consider evidence? That's what I'm asking. And what Charles can ask evidence do you have to show me? What does Charles consider evidence? I will evaluate it. What does Charles consider evidence? What, what do you consider evidence? I can't show you evidence what if you don't consider anything. Evidence, evidence do you have yeah, it's a waste of for time. me to You want to end it there? Yeah, it's a waste of time. I mean, yeah, we're going to show it. You're not going to answer because like, it, it's, it's a simple question. It's a, it's a very simple question. What evidence? But I'm do asking, you have what do you that consider evidence? And you're not telling. So, so, so I want everybody to, at home to imagine, right? I'm asking this guy, what does he consider evidence? So I can answer him appropriately, and he's not telling me. If he just says evidence, evidence is a loaded word. Sorry. If sorry, I say sorry. I want evidence, what do I mean by evidence? Sorry, sorry. That's what I want. I'm sorry. If you can't answer, what evidence do you have that Moses turned a stick? In what glib? No, no. What glibly job have you got for the blobbly blob? It's, it's a loaded term, you can't just say evidence. No, no, I don't want you to answer, I want him to answer because he's the one I'm talking to, right? I don't want anybody helping him. Don't, don't try and nanny this guy, he has a mind of his own, yeah? I'm sure you have a mind of your own, unless you don't believe in your own mind, which would be a bit weird, right? But you have a mind of your own, so answer appropriately, all right? What do you consider evidence? Okay. In ancient times, there was a story that told a man called Moses existed. So notice I've answered, I've asked him twice now. What do you consider evidence? I'm sure I asked the question and you have yet to answer it. So he can't answer it. The reason why the atheists can't answer it is ultimately because they You're can't posit an epistemic authority for their, their ideals. You're they moving can't. the goalposts. I'm red moving herrings. the goalposts. Red herring, straw man, do you want to name straw another man, policy? Mate. Just answer the simple question. I, I, as I said, what before, evidence I can't, do you have? If you say evidence, that Moses. If a human being says thing. something, if I say bibbly bob, right? I've, you, uh, you've got to tell me what a bibbly bob is. I can't just, I can't just like say bibbly. Are you bob. running away? What is a bibbly bob? Where are you going anyway? He's going over there. Why well, the camera's still running? Do you running. think that's a fair question? Yeah. So, yeah, so at the end of the day, what is a bibbly bob? So what's your so, so evidence does you have to show? Uh, okay, me? so you you're repeating your search. So so kind of kind of you're getting it, but it's like what do you define as evidence? What can he do? Okay, you, you have yeah, to define right, evidence. Right, you're right. Words That's have definition. You, you should know this. This is key stage have, one stuff, Charles. Do you have key stage one stuff, Charles? Anecdotal evidence? What is an anecdotal testimony of other people? Oh, so epistemic evidence. Epistemic evidence. So you, you so you, so you're basically positing that you have to see something for it to be true. Is that what you're? So that's not what you're positing. But but you're saying your your criteria for evidence is that if I see it, it must be true. Correct. No, no. But that's that's what you just described. No, it's kind of. You're confusing yourself now. Yeah, what I'm doing, I'm confusing myself. <laughs> what I'm trying to do okay. right, just is say. clarify. To get to the bottom. Oh uh, no, no, this. no! You're claiming something happened, right? And you do said you, you want. So Charles said he wanted anecdotal evidence, right? Yeah. But when I asked him, is that the only criteria for what evidence is? He said to me, no. Did the Egyptians see the parting of the sea? So, so Charles believes from what, I, from what you're hearing. Did they document that if you it? see something, you it, it must be real? No, 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 no. I'm just so I'm going to ask Charles another question. I'm just wondering, do the, the, the principle that Charles is using, the of the right? can he see that? I didn't, I, I was talking, you're talking over me. Because you don't hear. Did the Israelites document So in, in, in metaphysical the arguments, right, Anyone? there are things like mathematics in the universe, there are things like conscious states in the universe, there's things like language in the universe anyone? that cannot be accounted using basic um, physical abstractions. It's, it has to be accounted for in the metaphysical realm. And what I'm saying, if the metaphysical radicals exist, then it doesn't necessarily mean that everything we see like has to be evidential. And the reindeers. 
is that your metaphysical universe as well? That's a straw man. I Again, and you point out straw man. I love you. No, I want you to know is he pointed out straw man, but he's straw man in my religion. We don't believe that Santa Claus is a necessary being in which all things are contingent. Nobody believes that. Is, is Moses a necessary being? Of course not. So, can you show me the evidence for the parting of the sea? Can I show you the evidence for the parting yes. of the sea? What, you want me to take you back to the time no, when no, the sea no, no. was parted? Philosophically, mathematically, metaphysically, what? Can you show me evidence? I could show you metaphysically Empirical. why there's a god. No, no, no. The claim. The claim that there's a god. The claim that the parting of the sea. Why? So hold. Why would I, the... I, I found it hard <laughs> yeah, to this, this is what's funny. Why would me not talking about God be a metaphysically be a problem with you, but the parting of the seas be a problem with you? Why would that be a problem? No, they're both a problem. So they're both a problem? They're both So let, let's start with the necessary one first. Let's yeah. start with who God is. Yeah, yeah, let's start Because with that ultimately, then. God is the one who parted the seas, as I explained. So let's start with the God then. Right. You're... So we believe that God, by necessity, is a necessary being in which all things are contingent, including metaphysical One rationality. second, let's so, break it down. This, it's necessary. Yes, it's necessary. necessary for there to be a God. Because in reality, I'm using an epistemic argument, by the way. Do you know what epistemic is? I'm trying to a break it bit, down. A little bit, not, not whole. So epistemic is basically the knowledge of what we have in reality. That's what it is, right? Yeah. So basically, what I'm positing is, right? We only know in this reality that things come from things, correct? Yeah, yeah. Whether it's a tree or a bird or a plant or even a sea, it comes out of something. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking of the quantum realm. Do you know? The, the do, quantum, you, the, do you understand the quantum field? No, well, quantum theory is a theory, you do realise that. Quantum field. Yes, yeah, I understand. But those are theories, you do realise are we that. Not, are we not of quantum? You do realise that's a theory, right? Are we not of can quantum? You, so, can you see the quantum realm? Me, no. No, you can't, can so you? then it's a theory. Can you? So, that's what I'm saying. You're, you're, you're positing one theory of another. Yeah, but there's lots of theories. Do you believe in the theory of gravity, the theory of water? It's like me saying, do you believe in the theory of God? And you're telling the, me, no, it's stupid. The theory of germ on, disease. Theory. Is there a, <laughs> is there a theory, theory of God? Oh, well, yeah. I do yeah. I do believe there is a theory of God. Okay, so tell me your theory. So, as I said before, we're, we're positing in our paradigm that God is a necessary being in which all things are contingent. As all a theory. Are, all things in reality. As a theory. Go on, I'll give you a theory. I don't mind. Right. So as a theory, we're positing that God is the necessary being in which all things contingent. But I believe it's facts, and I can believe it. There's no problem with that. Just like you believe in quantum fields, right? As uh, from what we see in the, in the in the in reality, so this is more an empirical argument of what we know in reality. All things are contingent. Doesn't matter where you go. All things are contingent. Yeah. If all things are contingent, there has to be something necessarily or grounding that grounds all reality. Uh -huh. Otherwise, what we have is an infinite regress. An infinite regress is a problem with sorry, the philosophy. Sorry, is your God empirical? Is my God empirical? Yeah. He can be discovered empirically. Oh, he can? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Because, as I said before, because all things are contingent, yeah. God is a necessary thing that bounds all things. Yeah. And because there's hierarchy in things like nature, for example, uh -huh. so like with animals and plants, there's always a hierarchy, there's always yeah. a male, female, X, Y chromosome, it's the same thing Once with again, parents. what empiricism, so he's not listening. what empiricism is your God? He's not listening. I'm listening. What, how can Do you we know what I mean by empiricism? Measurements. Measurements, okay, so. Can we measure your God? Can I, can I, can I tell the time using a thermometer? Oh, that's a different, different instrument. Yeah, because obviously a thermometer measures heat, it doesn't tell the time. Yeah. I'm so telling what? you, you can't measure God using a ruler. What's, what's the God measure, um, instruments? The God of God on all meter. What is it? The God on meter. Yeah. I'm telling you, God is a metaphysical reality in, fix, in which all things on this earth are contingent upon. So in our paradigm, can he or can he not be measured empirically? As I said before, because. Uh, what I keep explaining what, myself to this What point. instrument okay, do you use? I'm telling you, using natural theology, this is a science that, that philosophies, philosophers are science for years. So using nature itself, as I said before, oh. hierarchical systems, for example, like families, yeah. societal structures, uh -huh. all come from the idea of a structural God who exists. Whoa, who said that? I'm saying that hierarchies come from somewhere. For example, if yeah, you look at animals... come from something. So, all right, so if you look humans. at animal kingdom, humans, not, not just humans, because there's a hierarchy in animals, did you know that? Hierarchy in animals, yes. Yes, there's hierarchy in animals, Nature. Correct? Right, so there's always the male, right, who leads the pack, uh -huh. female, yep. mothers, yes. then the child, right? Gotcha. That, that's consistent 
through most, if not all. Yeah, consistent. Species. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. You agree with me on that I point? I agree. Right, so we're going somewhere, right? I'm saying hierarchies prove that there is a God because there is always, within the contingent world, a structure of there being a hierarchy of whoa, one whoa, that's whoa, above whoa. and one that's, that's below. That's a quantum leap, my that's friend. That's not a quantum leap. Where did you get God? Where was God in the equation? I'm claiming because God, I can because see all things are contingent. I can see animals. Uh, uh, and this guy's an idiot, I don't see <laughs> gods. This is low tier argument. I'm saying Show because me an God of a is God. the necessary contingent being, what do you mean and necessary? because reality shows that it's a hierarchy. Are you framing? It isn't hard for us to frame it. It's necessary. Epistemic. Are that you there is a God this? that is the hierarchy above us all. That's not hard for us to understand. Well, you're over talking me. Is, are you setting the it's framework? You're not, you're not listening to anything <laughs> I've just said. No, you're going on and on. No, you're not. What did I just say, bro? I don't know because exactly. you weren't listening. No, you weren't listening. Are I heard you, everything you said. Are you, but you framing? Listening. There's a God. What have I been doing for the past 10 minutes, Charles? Yeah, so where <laughs> did you get your God uh, from? I mean, Charles, Where's Charles, the equation? Charles, Charles, no offense. Show me the equation. Charles, no offense. Can I, can I give you a few books to read? They're not going to be the Bible, don't worry. But I want you, I want you to re read Rupert Seldate's book, right? Never, I want to... never. Why not? Because you're patronising and No, 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 I, I do want you to read it. Though. Where did, I'm, I'm not, where hold did on, the hold leap Charles, come from? Charles, please animals don't lie. to God. Please, Charles, it's not good for you. Please don't lie. Hierarchy of animals please to God. I'm not, I'm not patronising at all. I want you to read this book. Where's right? the pattern? Where's the... Well, I'm actually, I'm actually going to bring you to something that's going to help you a bit more because you don't understand the language. No, I don't. You don't understand the language. I have tried to say it. esoteric language I do not understand. It's not esoteric, mate. It's basic philosophy. You even told me to show you using philosophy what God was, and I did, and you did <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, all right, I can all right. philosophically show okay. you what, so, look, 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 what look. Santa Claus is. No, you can't. Yes, right. I can. No, you can't. Well, so, who's, what does Santa Claus even mean? What does it mean? Yeah, what does it mean? Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas. Who was Saint Nicholas? A man from... Where was he from? Poland? <laughs> no, he worked for Poland. Basically, he was a Christian saint who used to give out gifts. Yeah. Right, so that's where the story comes from. It's a myth, basically. But we know that from history. Whereas we know Jesus existed historically. Whoa! We do know it. But anyway, where I did know. Jesus exist? According to most scientists, including Bart Ehrman, by the way. Scientists? Not scientists, sorry, historians. I don't know why I said scientists. Archaeologists. According to, yeah, archaeologists as well. Yeah, what archaeologists um, can so, show that Jesus existed? Okay, so there's this channel called Biblical Archaeology. No, 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 just tell me. They, they would have, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you information because atheists like to, like to give us upfront information. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take I you to the no sources. Information. I but have that's no why, information. But Charles, what? that's why I'm taking you to the sources. Evidence is there for Jesus. Just tell me. Charles, please. this is why I'm taking you to the sources. You don't have to trust me. You have to go no, to the stories. I want to trust you. No, no, no. You have friend. to trust me. Let me you what have to trust archaeology. I'm saying, for example, evidence is there for do Jesus. you believe that the Israelites existed? Yeah, they existed. They existed according to what? To, um, Israel exists now. Okay, so Israel exists now, yeah. therefore it must exist in the past. I'm, I'm giving credence, yeah. Okay, so there's, there's, this, there's this tome, right? It's, it's a history, it's an ancient history tome. It dates to about 13,000 BC, so before Christ, right? And it's called the Manepta Stele, right? Look it up yourself, write it down yourself. And, and it's it the Manepta Jesus. It's the Manepta Stela. Does it mention Jesus? Well, I'm going before Jesus, then oh, I'll go up to Jesus. No, no, what I asked specifically was, is right. there evidence for I'm Jesus? I'm starting before Jesus, and I'm going to up to the evidence for Jesus. So allow me to allow me to start before Jesus, because obviously you had a problem with Moses 13, as well. 13,000 years. 13,000 BC. Do you know what BC means? Before... Before Christ. Something. Right. Ah, man, low hanging fruit. But basically, right, all right, all right, so basically, long story short, right, there's the Manepta Stela, yeah. dates to 13,000 BC, and it says on there specifically that Israelites were called the nomads of Yahweh. Yeah. They were named after the god they worshipped. Uh -huh. So this, I think, is one of the evidence we can use to determine that the Israelites themselves worshipped a god called Yahweh. Yeah, what's that got to do with Jesus? It proves that the biblical, because you, you mentioned archaeology, yeah. and I'll go out to Jesus in a minute, right? So right, with that, we can determine that there was Israelites, correct? You yeah, agree with that yeah, yourself? Yeah. That they did worship somebody called Yahweh, uh -huh. right? So if they worship somebody called Yahweh, they yeah. must have left writings behind, correct? Uh -huh. yeah. They must have left must writings have, yeah. right. Those writings are found in the Dead Sea Scrolls. The, the Dead Sea Scrolls date to about, I think about uh, 1 BC, around that time, because I know they're before Jesus. But you know, in the Dead Sea Scrolls? Sorry, not 1 BC, sorry, 1 AD. So it would be did, 1 AD. Did they mention Moses? In the Dead Sea Scrolls, yeah. yeah. They do. Yeah. So the Dead Sea Scrolls collection 
basically by the Essenes. So there was a, there was a group of Christians what, called what the Essenes. What did they say about Moses? What did they say about Moses? Yeah, in the it, it, what the Bible says. These were exactly the these were scrolls of the Bible. Yeah. That's how early of, of the Bible, so it's yes. the same writing. Yes, but I'm trying to explain to you what, what basically the, the caves of Qumran, where the skulls are found, right, contain the books of the Bible. All of them. Oh. And they were they were kept there by the Essene tribes. Now, as we just established, there were Israelites around, and our earliest stealer from 13,000 BC says that they were nomads of Yahweh. So we can determine that that group of people worshipped the God called and, Yahweh. And the Israelites and then they left text behind. They mentioned Jesus, um, Moses. Of course they did. Uh, who? Where? What writings of the Israelites? The writings they that they had themselves in the Bible, as I said from the Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh, in the Bible. Yes. Because I'm, I'm now going from biblical history to show you that Jesus is a historical person. Moses wrote the Bible, the Old Testament. Okay, so the, the the four books of the Old Testament are no, the five books of the Old Testament are attributed to Moses. Yeah. Right? Attributed. What? Yeah, they're attributed. There's a theory about whether they were written by Moses himself or by people around him. So we don't know. Um, well, not fully, no, because there wasn't a writing that said, oh, it was written by Moses. But what we have is a community of, of uh, sorry, of Israelites, right, who accepted these writings from that tradition. And what you've got to understand, bro, the only reason why we know history or any type of history, for example, like Caesar, you heard of Julius Caesar? You've never heard of Julius Caesar? Have you heard of the Roman Empire? Okay, the only reason why we know the Roman Empire is, is not just because of statues or engravings, it's because solely because they left their writings. For example, Pliny the Younger, Pliny the Younger, who's he, a con he wrote something. Yeah, he's a consul for one of the Roman emperors. He wrote about the Christians himself. Allow me to finish, because then I'm going to the evidence for Jesus. That's what I mean. Right. So right, with Pliny the Younger, he writes about Christians worshipping Jesus as God. So that's our earliest witness of Jesus as God. Is it, is it our earliest documented? Yes, it's very documented. Very Josephus, well docu Josephus, is that Tacitus. Well documented. Yes, well documented. You, this is what I there's, mean. You there's loads of writings that Josephus says about Jesus. No, there's not loads of writings. There's only yeah. one There's only one writing that's yeah. attributed by Josephus. Because right. Josephus doesn't write about Jesus throughout all these animals. He's writing about the history of, of what's going on. Well, what, what, do you, what do you write exactly, Josephus? He wrote about Jesus being crucified. The brother of James being crucified. So basically, Jesus is the brother of James. Is that, is that it? Yeah, and that, the, the Christians. No, is that, not that he's a god. No, no, because obviously he wouldn't believe he was a god. But that, that doesn't refute him being a god because, as I said, Pliny the Younger, who wasn't a Christian, he, he was, was persecuting the Christians. He was, yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't a Christian. A Christian he was and he said Jesus was And he said that the Christians were worshipping Jesus as God. So there, there was a belief at the time that Jesus was God. Even so, just he's hearing stories that some bloke is a god. No, no, he wasn't hearing stories. He was hearing it from the people who were around him at that time. The people that are around him, his contemporaries. Yeah, his are, contemporaries. Are telling him that Jesus is the God. Yes. And, and remember him himself, Pliny the Younger, or Elder what you want to say, himself, Charles, yeah. did he believe that? Pliny the Younger wouldn't believe that, no. But uh, how, we, how, how we do history, bro, is even if, if our witness, if our enemies testify of what we've done, then it has to be necessarily true. For so, example. No, 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 sorry, sorry. Example, He's hearing stories that there's a bloke called Jesus who claims he's the son of God. Does that make him a God? Does that make Jesus a God? Yeah. No, no, but we're not using that only that one criterion. That's so, what I'm trying to explain. Yeah, what criteria do we use? Well, the criterion, I'm, I'm trying to show you that the Bible is a criterion, but not just the Bible. The, Bible. the early church, for example. No, 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 outside sources. Yeah, I'm talking about early, early church sources as well. well. When were they? Okay, so 90 AD is our earliest one. It's called the 90 Didache. AD. Yeah, so this is within the first... Well, after the, the death of Jesus. Yes, but our earliest witness, by the way, is Paul's letters. So Paul's, Paul's letters Paul. come in 40 AD. Paul's letters are found in the Bible, by the way. Paul. Do, do you know who Paul is? I've got a problem with the soul. Yeah, it's soul of Tarsus, yeah. 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 So, d d on his road to his, his Damascus experience, yeah, yeah, is that testimony? I feel like you're, you're diverting the topic no, now. No, because no. we were talking about the history of Jesus. Yeah, I know. And now you've gone to Saul of Tarsus. Well, there's a lot of writings about so, uh, do, Jesus what, what do you want me according to, do? to Paul. Charles, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to address Saul of Tarsus or address the history of Jesus? Which one? Pick one. Um, Paul. Okay, then we talk about Paul. What, what was On your... the road to Damascus, yep. he had a vision. Yes. He fell off his donkey. Yes. And he saw a blinding light. Yep. What was that blinding light? Well, according to this testimony, it was the Lord. His testimony? Yes. On what scientific 
method did he come up with to, to know it was God? Again, as, as I said before, he's not using empiricism. He's using, well, he is. He's using what he sees. He sees. So this is his What term. method did he use to evaluate that? Well, he, he didn't take I'm out talking, two. He didn't I'm say, talking, no, 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 I'm talking. I'm, so he didn't take out two flasks, put them together and say, Wow, good. Like, no, no, he didn't do that. He didn't do that. He was using his only epistemic reason to come to the conclusion that that was the Lord he was speaking. And I still How would he know that that's God? One, because that's what he witnessed. Two, because he Wait, no, that. witness to what? Because of the light he witnessed. Now, in Jewish tradition. No, one second, Jewish, one second. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Light, You're going to let me finish. So, in Jewish tradition, right, Moses himself witnessed Christ as a light. So, in the a Old light. Testament, yes. In the, in the Old Testament, in Exodus 33, Moses sees God. Mo but God, yeah, yeah, he what sees God. But is, he can't Paul, see him face to face. Is right? Paul Jewish? He only sees his is glory. Is Paul Jewish? You're going on to a different topic. Would he have going on to a different topic. knowledge of this? I mean, Charles, you're wasting my time. Would he have knowledge? Charles, I'm going to be honest. I don't think you want any evidence or debate. I, I just Paul, think, what I think the atheist wants to do Jewish is he wants to assert his own claim. Knowledge to because Moses. the atheist can't account for his own reality. He can't account for his own worldview. And he can't account for his epistemic justification. That's so unfair. We're just having a conversation. But, but bro, if you're going to talk over me while I'm trying to explain the point, I won't talk over you. I'm and sorry. tell me about something I'm unrelated. I'm sorry. Just because Let's you're losing. Let's start again. I mean, come on. I am losing. Let's start again. You've already lost. I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, again, would Paul have knowledge to old Jewish tradition? So, as I was, yes, because Paul was a Jew. Yeah. So he would have, and if you read the Bible, that's what it says. So what well, I'm asking, he was a Jew on under, the, under the Damascus. So Paul a was a Jew light under the line of Gamaliel. So made him the fall off of his Gamaliel. donkey. Paul was a Jew under the teaching of Gamaliel. Gamaliel yeah. himself was a Jew. Yeah. Paul traditionally, according to our traditions, whether you believe him or not, read the scriptures from a child as early as the age of five. Yeah. So he would have known what that light was. Oh, he would have known yes. what that light was? Yes, because as I said before, a blinding if light you listen came to me, and he knew it was Jesus. If you listen to me, actually, How it, know it was Jesus. First of all, the, it, doesn't ju it doesn't just say there's a blind light. No, he hears the Lord speak. Oh, he hears Jesus. Yeah. So uh, in fact, I'll get the verse out. So we no, can no, actually, okay. no, 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 I believe you. I no, 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 I'm going to get the verse out. How would he know Jesus' voice? I'm going to reverse out. If Jesus came now and said, I am Jesus, would you say, yeah, that's Jesus? If Jesus confirmed it, he said, every angel... I am sorry, Jesus, and I confirm I'm Jesus. Sorry, yeah? yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, look, Does that make him Jesus? All people yeah. who have witnessed Jesus. Witnessed Jesus. Yeah. Had Paul witnessed... Had Paul witnessed... Are you listening? Okay, okay, Charles, Charles, Charles. Charles, Charles, Charles. Sorry, don't, don't, don't worry. As Paul uh, witnessed uh, uh, Jesus. Charles, Charles, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to refute your claim, right? The angels speak, or Jesus speaks. Okay, so this is Acts 9. I'm gonna go, we're going to read on, right? Whether you want to hear or not, I don't care. All right, and, and desired of him letters to Damascus, to the synagogues, that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women. So basically, Paul's going out to persecute Christians. He might bring them a bound to Jerusalem. And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined around about him a light from heaven. And he fell How to do you the know earth. From heaven? Are you going to be quiet? How do you know a light come from heaven? Are you going to be quiet? How do you know a light Are you going to be heaven? quiet? Are you going to be quiet? <laughs> yes. All right. You and see he a light. Oh, that must be from heaven. You're being perfect now. You, you that How lost. do you know it's from Are heaven? Are you that scared of the answer? Are you that scared Tell of Tell me how you know it's from heaven. Well, I'll tell you if you just shut up okay, for a second. Okay, All right. Okay. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, So, so, why persecutest thou me? Yeah. So who, who was so persecuting, bro? Jesus. No, followers. he's persecuting the Christians. Christian. Right. So, what, so who's creating themselves with the church? Uh, Paul. Uh, and you're an idiot, man. Oh man, you are such. Bro, I can't do this. So, I can't. This guy's an idiot, man. What you mean? Who, who, who was claiming that they were being persecuted? Who was claiming? Jesus was claiming. What? What is? Oh man, this guy's an idiot. No. Okay. <laughs> He's doing it on purpose. He is. He is. Okay. So before that, as I read to you before, yeah. right? Paul went out to persecute, persecute the Christians. The Christians. The Christians. Yeah, right. Yeah. And who says? So, so, why persecutest thou me? Who said that? Who said that? Yeah, who said that? I'm asking you. I don't know. You don't know? Who said that? Right. So why did you say that? Why? No, no, why? who? No, no, no. Let, let's go to who why said does, that? Why does this person say that? Why? Remember, the light's come, whoever it is, why does they say that? Maybe that person's been persecuted. By who? 
By who? By Paul. By Paul. So this is a persecute this is a persecute person by Paul. Yeah. Right, that's what you believe. No. I'm guessing. Trust <laughs> me, I'm guessing. Alright, I'm gonna read on anyway. And he said, Who art thou, Lord? So he recognises the voice. Who art Who art thou? Lord. Who are you, Lord? Yeah, yeah. Who, who are, are you, you Lord? Yeah, Lord. I know you're a Lord, but who are I, you? I love the KJV, it's beautiful, right? And the Lord said, whoa, 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 I am whoa, Jesus, whoa, whoa, whoa. I am Jesus, whom thou persecute. Why, why, why are we talking? Case dismissed. He said he was Jesus. Case dismissed. You hear my guy's argument? Are you he joking? was saying that he didn't claim to be Jesus. How do you know he's Jesus? I don't know Jesus. He claimed to be Jesus. He said he was Jesus. He said, who art thou, Lord? Oh, wait, I, I can't, I can't. <laughs> And he says, Jesus. No, 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 uh, would you, what's your criteria for being Jesus? Yeah, exactly. What's the criteria? You can turn water into wine. Yeah, you did. Yeah, show me. Do it again. That's the criteria. That's the criteria. Stop it. Listen. Stop it. Turn some fish. Yeah. Turn some crayfish into bread. Go on, show me. No. No, 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 you can't right, right. make him up. I get Hold on, if, if, I did the, like, if I did that in front of you, would you believe that I'm God? Huh? If I turned some grey fish into like pink fish, would you believe I'm God? Yes. You would believe I'm God? Yes. Straight away? Yeah. Why would you believe I'm God straight away? This magic tricks like Jesus, he did it. But hold on, I, what, what, what do you mean? Why, why would you believe I'm God just because I could turn grey fish into well, pink? he did it. But why does that That's make somebody God? That's the criteria for a No, no, hold on. Why does that make somebody God? Just because I turned grey fish, yeah. pink fish, why does that make somebody well, good? if he did it, then he must be a god. You do According it. According to what criterion does that make him good? Your biblical pages. What scriptures. do you mean my biblical pages? Okay. Somewhere in the Bible it says that Jesus... In well, the Bible, of him, man. in the Bible, Jesus turns water into a wine. Yes, he does. So that makes him a god, no? That's not the only thing that makes him god. Oh, uh, the only thing is more. Because there's way more criteria and for more. being god. Uh, way more. Does he, does he turn... One loaf of bread. Miracles into... don't make somebody a oh, god. Oh, oh, they don't. No. Oh, okay. What makes him a god? What makes him a god? What is makes what he... Jesus a god? Well, ultimately, what he did. Yeah, turning water into. No, water. No, 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 not that. No, not that one. Because prophets could do that. Yeah, if, so, they so, if it's not that one, what else? Well, what else? Yeah. Would you think? Would you believe that if a man dies, can he come back to life? Yeah. Can he? Lazarus. Lazarus did. Hercules. Right, no, but who raised him to life? Hercules. Yeah, when he died, Hercules came back to life. Hercules came back to life? Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. Yeah, That's sorry. This, um, the Egyptian goddess. Uh, did you say Oasis? No, Oasis. Osiris. Osiris, sorry. Yeah, it's yeah. the god of the underworld. Yeah. Oh, sorry, man, sorry. Yeah. When, when, her, <laughs> when her son died, he came back to life. It, it, Osiris isn't a her, it's a he. They came back to life. Does that make them a god? What makes Jesus a god? They came back to life, but they're false. Oh, they're false. But yours is not false. I'm saying ours has a historical attestation, as I explained to you before. Historical attestation. Every of historian what? Of what? agrees that Jesus exists. What historian? Bart Ehrman, atheist scholar, Gerd Ludman, atheist scholar. Oh, I mean, okay, the list can go on. Oh, damn. And there's obviously others like Mike Lacona. Oh, if you want to look into his NT right as well. So I mean I've named what five. Is their you've criteria? named nobody. You've named what nobody. You've named nobody who claims he didn't. <laughs> So, <laughs> you, 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 I mean, I mean, we're done. So we're, we're ancient done. stories. We've done it. Bro. We've done it. I named five scholars who agree that no, Jesus no, existed. No, 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 no. And you're telling me some crap about show me scared that name me. 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 <laughs> Evidences that Jesus is a god. God Ludman, atheist scholar, believed Jesus existed. Bart Ehrman, atheist scholar, believed Jesus existed. 
Mike Lacona, he's a Christian, but he believes Jesus exists. N.T. Wright, believes Jesus existed. So I've named five scholars that Jesus who are historians. Is Jesus is who are historians who believe that Jesus existed. So, existed doesn't have anything to do with if he's a god. No, I already explained to him why, why Jesus was God. He's not listening to me. I, I, you can, you can, you can watch for it again. I'm I'm already, no, you're not listening to me. We already did this. We did it about five minutes ago. For the sake of the audience. What, is it what the one guy who just came into the conversation. For no the sake thanks. of the audience. <laughs> no, we've already done what this. Thing is the criteria um, that Jesus is a God. What thing that gives the criteria for Jesus being God? Yeah. Well, it depends. What do you consider a criteria? What have you got? What, do you, what have I got? What do you consider what a criteria? Is God? What is God? I think that's a good place to start. What, God is the necessary being in which, in which all things are contingent. Because in reality, things are contingent. Yeah. And I explained this to him. I'll, and he I'll, no, I'll grant you. I'll grant you that. Show me Jesus doing that then. Show me Jesus being the necessary being yeah. in which all things are contingent. Yeah. The biblical witness. The biblical witness. Yes. Oh. When you mean when you say contingent, do you mean that it relies on something? Um, no, because you can rely on something and not just simply contingent. For example, we believe in the Godhead, and I've got this called up. So in the Godhead, there is uh, three persons, one being, right? I'm going from there. You're, you're running. You're running. This is the mythicism. It's too much for me. Uh, oh, it's too hard for your brain. Oh, poor baby. It is, it is. Uh, it is what it is, man. It's too hard for my brain. Do you understand free You don't have gods. a brain. Did I say free gods? I'm willing to hear that. You've got to be It makes no sense. You don't make any sense. You don't make any sense. Uh, are you, are you not talking? So what? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Mate, I would have destroyed you, Charles. I mean, I've destroyed you like, at least twice. You have to show me Jesus is a god. Can we talk about atheism? Oh, you're not an atheist. No, I want to talk about your atheism. I don't atheism. want to convert you as atheism. No, I just want to talk about it. I want to have a conversation about your atheism. Why do you think? What do you think is an atheist and an agnostic? Agnosticism is not knowing something, and atheism is a lack of belief opposite to them. No, a lack of belief. No, it can't they be a lack believe, of belief. No. They believe, no. No, but is they it don't that, believe. Is that, isn't it that an atheist is sure that there's no God? Is that not what atheism is? Yeah, that's what atheism means. I'm sure that is. That's what atheism means. You're, you're sure, but not certain. I am an atheist. Then you'll be an agnostic. Years. No, you, you'll agnostic. be an agnostic. An atheist doesn't believe in a god at all. That's why two different words. Bart Thurman is an agnostic atheist. No, he calls he's an agnostic. He's an agnostic. There's no atheist. Because that means you know there is Once again, let me define it for you. If you lack belief in something, then talk? you're unsure on it, then you're talk? agnostic. Can I talk? But anyway, let's, let's wrap up. Uh, oh, I don't know what to say. Huh? Yeah, before we get stuck. I don't know what to say. Um, uh, okay, um, so... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just go to Charles' point, because we had two conversations, and I can't remember what I said in the last one. So basically, right... With Charles' assertion that we have to prove, as Christians, that God necessarily exists. We don't have to prove anything. We don't have anything to prove. Charles has to show, evidentially, his paradigm for what is, what is proof and what is true. When we speak of words like evidence, for example, we're presupposing a worldview in which ours is, is contingent with reality. So ours is basically necessary reality. Charles can't prove, using no structure, what is logic, what is, what is consciousness, or even the basic paradigms of science and so on. Can't do that because atheists can't do that. Atheism is running on a stupid paradigm in which it assumes its own reality and then looks down on the other realities and tells them, well, you've got to prove your paradigm. No atheist, you prove your paradigm. Atheist, you come down here and prove to me that, you, that in this reality, that atheism makes more sense than Christianity. Prove to me that you can use, do logic using atheism alone. Prove to me that you have a moral system that's, con that's uh, consistent under atheist paradigm alone. Um, but yeah, um, it's been refuted.
Lord willing, I'll be back here next week. But anyway, God bless.